What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to add your Windows 10 applications to Steam or games or whatever you want to do. So yeah, I've been wanting to add uh, my Gears of War Minecraft 10 to my Steam so I can launch them from there. So after looking on the internet and not really finding any help, I was able to figure it out on my own. So let me show you how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your file explorer, paste this uh, link into your search engine and it will take you to your applications folder. You're going to find the application you want to use, right click on it and say create shortcut. That's going to send it to your desktop. Just click yes. And then here it is on your desktop. I like to keep things simple so I just named it Gears. So that way it's easy to write the script for it. So you're going to take that file. I created a folder on my C drive called shortcuts just so it's easier to find and easier to like work with. Now I've already made a batch file for Minecraft so I'm just going to basically edit that one and copy it, make a new one, edit it. So what you want to do is you want to do echo off, then you want to do start the name of the link, which in this case I made it gears.lnk and then exit so that way it'll close out your command prompt. When you go to save, hit save as, name it, make sure you put the .bat at the end. Let's do a test to make sure it works. And there it goes. So you won't be able to add it into Steam as a batch file. Steam doesn't like batch files. So what you have to do is you have to add an exe file and then edit it. So I like to add 7-zip because it shows up right up at the top and it's easy to find. So go in there, add the 7-zip, then right click on it and go to properties. In the properties you can name it what you want. You change the target to the, to the folder that you created which in my case is the shortcuts on my C drive. And then you add the gears.bat file. In the start end, you change it to C shortcuts or whatever folder it was you decided to use. And then hit close. Now you'll notice it doesn't have an icon, but good thing about Steam is it lets you use just PNG files. You don't have to have an icon file. So search your internet, find yourself a nice PNG file, and then save the file and then go back into the properties in Steam, hit the change icon button, change the find into a PNG, and then they'll show up. Add that and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff.